Good morning, guys. Wrangler here. And today we're going to go over News Now Dome Waiter, aka Lunchbox's live stream from last night. Now, after he spent literally an entire weekend going live and telling people that KFAR and I were wrong, that we were lying, that we were not putting out accurate documents, that the documents we weren't putting out were real, that what we were saying wasn't true. But yet, he comes out last night, oh, they were true. I'm an idiot. So which is it? Let's go. Enjoy. Got a, a update for you. And it is not good news. I'll be the first to admit when I'm wrong. Uh, just a really fast and... Uh, being in our business because the well by that do you mean that we are really fast at, at providing accurate information or fact checking or knowing what, what in, in the holy we're talking about for, and run our mouth and try to get good officers fired yeah okay I guess we are then they used PACER and got emotion, and that, we got emotion that we haven't even received yet and that's fine. And, and that's fine. I don't mind that, but it's and, not um, good. And um, the, ones that are talking, the ones that are talking about it, crap are, about it, are um, I don't think they know what our channel is about. I don't think they realize, that, think they realize that we started this channel because of the situation. All right, Bubba. One has nothing to do with the other. We didn't. We never attacked your morals. Well, yeah, we did eventually, but we came at you because of what your channel appears to be about. We came after you because of what you put out on your channel and is heavily edited. It is a predetermined narrative. You want people to see a certain view of things instead of just putting the whole thing out there and letting them see it and deciding for themselves. You want to decide for them what the narrative and, and or outcome will be. And that to me makes you nothing short of a section eight housing version of Jerry Springer. And that we're just trying to have a voice for the people um, that this kind of stuff's happened to. Uh, they probably think that we're just some, you know, auditors that go out and get in trouble a lot and then file lawsuits on pro se and all that kind of stuff. Really? Because the analogy you just put out is a perfect description of the actions you've taken and the image that you've cultivated in our minds. So, uh, currently what we're doing is we're waiting on uh, my friend Rogue. He's coming in here with a, um, if he can get it to come up, he's having internet troubles, but he's going to come in here with the court docs so that we can walk through it. Uh, good morning. Well, yeah, it's usually hard to get good Wi-Fi to trailer park, so I'm sure Rogue is having trouble. Hey, Rogue, how's that house arrest going? Good morning, everybody. It's good to see all you guys. Um, we are having a, a bad day. Uh, we've had like a bad week, and that's okay. Um, well, we can't be blamed for your poor life choices. You know, it just puts more fight in our blood. Um, what you're about to hear that did happen, you know, because if you've been getting the information from the trolls, you're only getting just the very bottom of the of the barrel on what's going on. Um, Bullshit. Bullshit. But yesterday when I did the update, it was previous to us using our Pacer account to go jump ahead of the actual service, which is in the mail, I guess. We haven't gotten it yet, but we have not been serviced um, the motion that. Well, if you haven't been serviced, you might want to take that up with your life mate since you won't marry her. Did get put in. And the motion that did get put in is very, very questionable. No, it's not. There was no question. The judge dismissed your entire lawsuit against every single defendant except one. That defendant is still not dismissed because he actually has a counterclaim against you. But you're not telling people about that, Chrissy. Um, it doesn't make sense. It's an injustice. That's for damn sure. Um, 
Justice and the law are not synonymous. So I'll give you guys a brief, now that there's close to 100 people in here, I'll give you all a brief of what, what it results in. <clears throat> so as you know, if you did, if you have been around and followed the channel for a while, the reason we started this channel is because we became the victims of a botched police raid. We're going to skip um, ahead. We're another county. No, he might not be able to talk while he's sharing that screen. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm oh, guys. Hey, Rogue's here. For it. Hang on. No, I. All right. Can you we're, hear me? We're in the famous yeah, Hollywood. You now. Yeah, can you hear me? Talent now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I've looked, I've looked most of it over. A lot of the issue has to do with these people not being personally tied to a violation of a constitutional right, right? So, like, the prosecutor, we don't have a constitutional right for the prosecutor to investigate, right? Like, oh, my God, no way! So yeah. even if they didn't investigate what we told them was a crime or showed them was a crime, there's no constitutional violation there. So that, that's what the court was saying on a lot of the stuff. Same thing with the municipalities, like the, the police department and the sheriff's department. Yeah. Um, oh, damn. They're an entity. So unless they have a custom or a policy or um, – you know, like an ordinance or whatever that is the reason that the officers violated your rights, then they can't be held liable. No, let so me ask you if, this. If we had... Our <gasps> oh, great Odin's Raven. Wow. That is just, that is some just groundbreaking work there, Rogue. Compelling and rich argued the state claim would they have been found liable for those actions in under the state rules nope not even close i mean i i i don't really know to be honest with you because here's the thing i mean there has to be some obligation of what we're claiming that they have to provide right so is there an obligation under state law that that any time a citizen comes to the prosecutor with a case, they have to investigate it? I don't know. It's actually the opposite in our state. It says that you can the prosecutor cannot investigate. That's what we argued. Because the prosecutor is not an investigator. He's a prosecutor. Investigators investigate. Then they take what they investigated and learned. They take it to a prosecutor. The prosecutor then takes all that information, verifies it, checks its validity versus the case law, researches, and then if necessary and warranted, he prosecutes. That's why he's an prosecutor. Damn, you're dumb. Prosecutor in Indiana cannot investigate under any statute that we found other than one, which is false reporting section D2. In false reporting section D2, there is written in the state law that you can request the prosecutor directly to investigate the malicious reporting. So that's the only step. He's going to make me wrong, work today, kid. Wrong, 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 You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Yeah. And that's why you made that dumbass video. You went after some malicious reporting. The only person I see making malicious reporting is you. Every time you go and fill out another bullshit, frivolous complaint so you can garner clickbait. That's you out of all. Well, they have to run it through the agency. So, like, you can... Go to the prosecutor all you want and say, hey, prosecutor, I think there's a reason for the police, but they're a mandated reporter just like anybody else in the government. So, yeah, they would if they did think that there was something, the law being broke, they're, they're just like any other mandated reporter that could go and say, hey, sheriff, you respond to this person over here. But that that's not the same as the prosecutor investigating, okay? That's a very special procedure. It's called a special um, procedure. Special investigation, a special unit.
and it's the SIU. Really? You've been watching some Nash Bridges? You a Don Johnson fan there, Chris? It's assigned by the prosecutor. So that is not what happened in our case. It is, but it isn't. It wasn't the process. This is what our argument is anyway. We don't think that the prosecutor had the legal authority to go to the sheriffs after the sheriff had already done it and said it was a civil matter. We don't believe that the prosecutor was able to go back to them and say, you know what, I want you to, to make it not a civil matter. That was our argument. But what Rogue is saying, and we understand this, we understand. Um, what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Exactly. Your incoherent babbling is not when doing you any favors. And how the legal system worked on it. He's saying that in itself is not a constitutional violation. On paper. It's not constitutional. It's not a specific constitutional rights violation. Am I right, Rogue? The way I'm re thinking that? Or do you agree? Yeah, no, absolutely. In, in order to, to, you know, find resolution for our rights being violated, there has to be a right that is, um, you know, that we can point to, like, right? So, like, when they say stop recording, that's obviously the First Amendment, right? Uh, and then so everybody knows the Bill of Rights. You got these rights and then you got these state rights. But no, Rogue, we know the Bill of Rights. You don't. Also, the courts have, um, I don't want to say given rights, but they they fleshed out rights in case law. Right. Like, for example, uh, the courts have stated that even though the driver's license is state property, we still have a, a interest in that driver's license. Right. Uh, because we need it to get to work and do all this other stuff. So we, we have an interest in that. So they can't. Just but, Rogue, you're not driving. You're traveling. Remember? Just take that willy nilly. There has to be a process that they can, you know, revoke that license in. Um, and, and so we have that right to that process before the state can just yank, you know, the license away. Um, and, and that's a right that the, the, the courts have fleshed out for the citizens. But, um, I argue here because they're going to be seeing it and see what we're saying about it. And then the argument will already, you know, that can't happen. So I have to be careful. But what I can say is, is this, in the end, what I'm seeing now after the recent movement, which was dismissing a bunch of people, you know, which we No, it was dismissing all of them, save one, period. We at least thought, me and Timmy at least thought what that would result in is a trial where we had a jury, but we were wrong. You know, we're wrong. We're just normal people. No, you're not. You're frauditors. You're grifters. You're not normal people. A normal people would get up and go to work. A normal person would support his family. A normal person wouldn't go after other men's families with bullshit lawsuits and threats just trying to get go-away money, blaming them for your F-ups. Own your F-ups. They're yours. Own them. They're not ours. We don't want them. So we thought that a jury would help us go through it all. We thought that depositions were going to help us go through it all. We thought that an attorney would pick it up at some point. And we're not laying down. We're nowhere near. All right. Here's my problem. If all of his claims are true, if the cops just busted in through some form of corruption and conspiracy and collusion and busted in his house for no other reason other than beat his ass because he claims that he was handcuffed, his head beat, he was pistol whipped in unconsciousness, he claims that the police broke his wife's back. Here's the problem. I happen to know for a fact that she broke, she fractured her vertebra 
in a horse riding accident long before the cops ever showed. That's not on them. So, what is it? And you've been sitting here the whole time admitting you're not a lawyer, you're not this, you're not that. Here's my problem again, is that if your case, if everything you're saying is true, why was this not all over every newscaster's desk in the country? Why wasn't it all over YouTube? Why were there not personal injury and civil rights lawyers coming out of the woodwork to represent you for what would have ultimately and inevitably been an extremely big chunk of go-away money? Why is it that after you've named almost 30 defendants in a federal lawsuit that, as far as I know, you were never offered a settlement? Why is it they dug deep so hard against you when we have all these now actuarially an actuarial analysis that most times are consulted for this and they offer their fee or they for paying their fee they offer their advice that the lawyers or the responsible party go ahead and offer x amount of money to make this go away so why is it none of this happened just curious we are done there is still a lawsuit ongoing for a good reason. No, there isn't. And we will argue it properly as best as we can. No, you uh, won't. And we might even get an attorney because I've been calling more and more of them and telling them what's going on. We'll see. Uh, but we have requested an attorney, which may or may not have been accepted. You're re wait, no, 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 no. If you're talking about requesting an attorney from the court, that isn't going to happen. That is only for criminal court. You don't have a right to a court-appointed attorney for a civil lawsuit that you filed. That's not how that works. That's not how any of this works. I really wish you'd start doing some research before you know you come on and do this shit. I do. Why can't you? Why are you think you're so much better than we are? Uh, through the courts. There is Tiffany Pound where... You know, we, we do have the right, uh, maybe, based on the courts allowing it, which is another <laughs> issue. You know, you, everything you're doing in this, you're basically, I'm just now learning this. You're asking permission from a judge before you even go to court. For the whole, it's almost, to me, it feels like the whole argument is happening not in front of a jury. And that, that's what pisses me off. Because uh, it's called the law. The judge, what you're saying is needing the judge's permission the judge is going to review the lawsuit to make sure that it has validity, to make sure that it's constitutionally allowed, to make sure that you are not violating the rights to the defendants. But personally, I find your bullshit conduct constitutionally and morally offensive. Because I thought it was a jury. I thought it was people like, like, like you guys that were... Don't think. You lack the required equipment. Helping determine whether or not they were going to, you know, be found guilty of the things they did. I thought it was going to be up to them, but what I'm learning now is you don't even get a chance to do that in, in these cases, looks like. Now, yes, you do. Our case is still active. No, no it's yeah, not. You don't. Well, technically, yes. Technically, his case is still active. His lawsuit is... There is one defendant left on there, and as I said, he could file a motion to dismiss right this second, and the judge would grant it. Yeah. Our case is still active. Yeah. And here's the thing. What they held the person that's, you know, Wait, the did Roe just that, get short with him? What they held the person. Yeah. And here's the thing. What they held the person that's. You know, the couple that's still active, too, the reason it's still active, they said on this, you're looking at the documents, is because they failed. If I'm reading it right, it's because they failed to protect us in the moment. Uh, no, that's not going to fly either. The Supreme Court has ruled time and time and time again. The police do not have a constitutional duty to protect you from physical harm. They don't have that. You don't have that right. They failed to turn to each other and say, don't do that. Nope. You know, those are the ones that are still here. Well, they all did that. They all did that. 
So I can't understand why this same rule wouldn't have applied to every single defendant. Because you didn't offer any actual evidence that this is what happened. You didn't offer any evidence. Dude, I've got your entire lawsuit. You provided no documentation to document any of this. Where are the photos from your injuries from you being beat like this? And if you were beaten oh so very badly, you would not have been denied an ambulance. Where's your medical reports, Chris? You said that after the cops left that you were then able to go to the hospital. So where are your medical reports? Where's your EMS bill? Because I doubt you have health insurance. So where are all of this documentation you should have? Because in my, from what I've seen, every time you go to somewhere saying you're claiming this and claiming this and claiming this to all these different officials, what is it that's almost always in the conversation? Well, do you have that evidence with you? No, no, but I can get it. Or you were supposed to send me this. Yeah, yeah, it was just too much to send in one email. Then send two, you dumbass. Every single one of them. And we did write it out that way. We said they all did that one. So I don't know why they handpicked, cherry-picked a couple of defendants to hold accountable for that. You know, I don't understand that. I think they all should have been held accountable for that. That's the argument. And we don't get a jury to determine that anymore. So that's where we're at. Um, and, I mean, they're still on the hook. I almost wonder if, you know, getting on to the appeal might have been the more productive thing to get the justice out of the ones they dismissed. Cause here's what my biggest issue is with this dismissal. And this is really the thing I want to talk about for this whole bit, this whole stream yard, the people that they let off the hook, a lot of them are fucking dangerous. They are dangerous. What they do to people is dangerous. Again, you failed to provide any receipts to back up that statement. They are not going to get held accountable if a judge says dismissed. The judge wouldn't say dismissed if the lawsuit had been done correctly and legally. Legally, the judge had no choice because of how you botched your lawsuit. If you had gone and gotten an actual attorney who may not have even filed it, but if you had gone and consulted an actual attorney then and that been sent in, it would have been sent in properly and legally, and the judge wouldn't have dismissed it. All right? If the case is bullshit, that's one thing. But if you don't correctly do what you're supposed to do and you make the dumbass mistake of going pro se, because you know what judges normally tell lawyers who go pro se, don't you? A lawyer who represents himself has a fool for a client. A fool who represents himself is named Christopher Ryder. We see what you did, but dismiss because this is federal court. The, 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 the people that you almost killed are wrong how they argued on paper. So no. Yes, it's called the law. That's how that works. A lawsuit is not to be decided by emotional outrage. It's to be decided on the merits of the case based on the law of that state or government and the Constitution, not because you feign outrage. That's the law, Chris. Dismissed. See ya. Now, I'm not saying they aren't following the court rules. I'm not saying the judge is dirty or whatever. He's following the Constitution, you moron. That same thing that you keep going around parading that you're an activist for. That's what he followed. This is your fault, not his. He did his job. Why don't you get one? I'm just saying our legal system's fucked. It's broken. You're right. And it's people like you and people like that scumbag underneath you on the screen as to why it's broken think there's justice if you think that cops are being held accountable if you think that prosecutors are being held accountable this case is proof that they are walking free and allowed to still carry the same militia weapons militia weapons really let's hear that again and be and allowed to still carry the same militia weapons uh i don't i i, I mean i pretty much consider myself a 
a fairly educated small arms expert. And I don't know the term militia weapons. I'm going to have to go look that up. Hey, Chris, do, do I find militia weapons in the Black Law Dictionary? Is that where I'll find it? And have the same ability to write on a piece of paper. I want to basically go hurt the fuck out of people. And they're still doing it, you know? Now, really, is that what was on the warrant? Was I want to go hurt this jackass because I don't like him? It, it Was that the wording exactly? Almost everybody that was listed as defendants in our from the Clark County agency, all but one of those people have no longer worked there. Like after this, after this lawsuit, and they've been involved in other. And guys, I will have AZ Jeep girl up here tonight to tell you why, what he just said right then is total bullshit things. And they basically allowed them to, you know, Oh, you need to go ahead and do an early retirement. Oh, you can, you know, just say that, uh, you know, there was these marks against you and we're not firing you. Do you so, have receipts so to back this shit up, Chris? Make it look like anybody got fired. But yeah, as soon as this stuff started going on YouTube, they quick gone. You know, that's how it went. Oh. And um, so there's only, the, I think, I believe there's only one officer left. Uh, AJ. I think he's the only one left. He's a secretive little bastard with family members. What do you mean? He doesn't, what, he doesn't want you to know who his family is? I wouldn't want you to know who my family is either. Because from everything that I can tell and everything that I've heard, you're a bully, Chris. I wouldn't want you in your shitty wardrobe, you know. I wouldn't want you bullying my family either. And dude, just because they have a sale at the Goodwill don't mean you got to buy everything. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what we're looking at. I'm going to give Rogue the floor here if he just wants to walk through the, the decision because he can explain it better than I can if he wants to. Well, if Rogue's on the floor, it's probably because he faked another slip and fall. Um, yeah, you know, I don't have much to say. Um, like I said, that'd be a fucking a lot of the claims, um, at least in this letter that they sent you back here, they're saying there's not, you know, specific claims. Like there was one deputy in there that supposedly all he did was read you guys the warrant or something like that four hours later. You know, so, and, and that was, and, you know, for a lot of them, it said, you know, just like the sheriff's department, the police department, you can't sue those guys unless, you know, there's a policy. Same thing with people that weren't even there, like uh, Jamie Knoll, you know what I mean? Right. He wasn't there, so you can't include him just because he's the guy's boss. Um, well, what we were trying to include, the ones that weren't actually physically there for, was we were showing what they had done on paper. And, and made directives to go do. That's what we... That's not how that works. That's not how any of this works. And it's bullshit. You know as well as I do, you threw in as many defendants as you could get away with because you were hunting that go-away check. Had them named for, but I don't know why that doesn't work in the argument, but apparently it doesn't. If you don't know, then why are you trying to? If you don't know what you're doing, why are you trying to do it? Find somebody who is educated who has the experience to do it, Chris? Yeah, I mean, it, it, what they write on paper, was it like, go violate, you know, their rights or, you know what I mean? Or, or yeah. like, you know no. what I mean? Like, it, it has to, it really has to be that almost that specific, you know what I mean? Like, in order to get a, a respondent superior is what they call it. Um, in trouble for someone else's actions, right? Like, because you, you you know, if you are got a job or you are got a business and some guy goes around killing people, you're not liable for that unless you, you know, gave him some acid. And, and, and that's where we'll end that, guys. No, like, we'll, hey, go around. Yeah, that's where we'll end that one, guys, is just because it's too long. It's just too many crap to deal with, and I can't handle him or dumbass anymore. But, yeah, you know it's a pretty bad day. When you've got Rogue Nation telling you that your lawsuit is bullshit. And that's where we'll leave it, guys. Uh, I appreciate y'all sticking with it this long. And I do apologize for it being longer than I wanted. But, you know, it is what it is. And, yeah, catch us tonight because me and KFAR are going to have AZ Jeep Girl up. And uh, hopefully Paul uh, Cohen to go with us. And we're going to be covering the five-page lawsuit 
LOL suit that they filed uh, naming me KFAR Aztec Ninja and Frauditor Troll in court last week or filed with the clerks. It still hasn't been processed, but we'll go over the the validity and just we will point out from a legal from a lawyer's perspective of just how full of shit they are. Anyway, guys, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Have a good day.